This is an interesting group of signs because it actually includes the word Heliopolis. Now, of course, the word Heliopolis was not, um, that's not how the Egyptians named it. And the Egyptian name for Heliopolis um, actually occurs in, in the Bible. Um, it's again, slightly changed. But let me talk, uh, first of all, about this, this group of birds. Those birds, they, um, it reads bow, and it means spirits, spirits. And underneath this little group here is the, the group which means beloved. And this again is referring to the king, the king Sesostris. Beloved of the spirits of Heliopolis. That's what um, this means. Now let me talk a little bit about um, this group of Heliopolis. Uh, the Egyptian is, uh, has three signs, and the first is a column with a tenon at the top, and this uh, reads Yunu, and then uh, the pot to the right reads Nu, and underneath is a sign which refers to any town or village, city, um, it's simply a crossroads, a crossroads inside a built-up area. That's what that sign at the bottom is. And this group here actually reads Yunu. Now that is the ancient Egyptian word for Heliopolis. And in the Bible, that comes out, you'll find it in Genesis. You'll find it mentioned three times in the book of Genesis, the first book of the Bible. And it's in the story of Joseph. Now Joseph, of course, in, in the Quran is Yusuf. And much in it's Surah 12 in the Quran, much in Surah 12 is very, very similar to the account in the Bible about Joseph. Though this particular mention of Heliopolis only occurs in the Bible, not in the Quran. So, you know, in the Bible, it becomes on, O-N. That's how it's, it's written in the, the English Bible. Now, um, this um, Heliopolis was indeed, as I say, a great intellectual center. And beloved of the spirits of Heliopolis mean that the king was indeed established in one of the most important centers of ancient Egypt. I suppose they are three in number. There's Heliopolis, there's Memphis, the ancient capital, and then there is Thebes in the south, present-day Luxor, which is, of course, the religious capital, which really takes over its importance from Heliopolis. Heliopolis is the great center of sun worship and the spirits of Heliopolis by whom the king is beloved are of course these great um, spirits associated with the sun.